Hey Mood Bubblers, it's Kendall and welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five places to live in South London. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Number one, Clapham. Clapham stretches between the Lambeth and Wandsworth boroughs and is divided into four areas. You have Clapham North, Clapham South, Clapham Old Town and Clapham Junction. Young professionals and students tend to gravitate towards Clapham North and Clapham Junction because it's got more of a hustle bustle feel, it's closer to pubs and restaurants and transport links. Um, there's a really creative vibe within these areas, whereas families tend to gravitate towards Clapham South and Clapham Old Town because of the greenery, the open spaces, the family oriented feel, as well as the older Victorian styled terraced homes. Because Clapham is divided into four different areas, there is literally something for absolutely everyone, meaning you could never get bored in Clapham. There is so much to do. One of my favorite parks in the whole of London is Clapham Common. It's an absolutely beautiful open green space space that is really welcoming in terms of dog walking and cycling, going for your morning runs, having a lovely picnic and just hanging out with friends. So Clapham Common is a huge positive in living in the area. In terms of transport, there are so many transport links within the Clapham area. So you have Clapham Junction, which fun fact is the busiest station in the whole of Europe. I know it's pretty crazy, but it's fantastic because you can literally get most places from Clapham Junction and it's a 10 minute ride into central London. There's also Clapham High Street Station, which is the overground and has links to Canada Water, Highbury and Islington and Shoreditch. Clapham also has three tubes on the Northern Line. So you have Clapham South, Clapham North and Clapham Common. And if you don't want to take any of the overgrounds or undergrounds, then there are plenty of bus links as well. So transport is one of the most incredible things about living in Clapham. You can pretty much get anywhere and everywhere. If you are a family unit or you're thinking about starting a family, Clapham has some incredible primary schools as well. So that's a really great thing to think about when moving into the area. In terms of the social scene in Clapham, you literally have every kind of bar or pub that you can think of. So from your typical sort of English bar to your wine and cocktail experience to nightclubs. They've got some incredible nightclubs and host some of the biggest parties in London. In terms of food, you can pretty much get anything that you feel like in Clapham because there is so much variety, but I do know that they are very well known for making some of the best curries in London. If you're looking for some retail therapy, then Clapham has a mixture of incredible shops. So anything from your sort of boutique stores to more of your high-end fashionista vibes is absolutely everything for everyone. If you're arty and into that scene, then the Clapham Picture House is where you want to be. They host some of the biggest films um, and put on some incredible movie nights. And then you also have the Omnibus Theatre, which again, puts on some really fantastic shows from everything from theatre to comedy nights. Just past Clapham Junction, you start moving into Battersea. Now Battersea is also a really lovely area, but St. John's Hill in particular is the road that I want to talk about. It has some of the cutest, quaintest, nicest little cafes and restaurants in my opinion, in the whole of London. There are also some beautiful art galleries, boutique stores, nail bars, um, and there's just something for everyone. So that's a really great way to spend your weekend, especially if you are a local to Clapham. Number two, Brixton. So Brixton is just south of the city, situated in zones two and three, and is at the end of the Victoria line. My favorite thing about Brixton is the eclectic cultural charm that it has. There's a mixture of Caribbean, West Indian, African and Asian influences in the music, the food, the shopping, the clubs, the culture, the people. It's absolutely fantastic and an incredible place to live and explore. Because of the cultural aspect of Brixton, it is home to a lot of students, creatives, young professionals, and people visiting London for the first time wanting to explore a different feel of the city. Just a fun fact, Brixton was a wealthy suburb up until the 20th century when a lot of large houses were converted into flats and boarding houses. It was and still is a popular spot for actors, writers, creatives to live and that explains why Brixton is such an arty and dynamic place to be. Most young people rent apartments and buildings or old Victorian terraced homes that have been converted into two, three, four flats. If you are looking for a different night out and different flavors, different sounds, different tastes, then Brixton is definitely where you want to go. The food scene in Brixton is out of this world. You can literally be on one road and have 10 different cultural experiences for you to choose from. From your fast food restaurants, to your curry places, to your typical 
British pubs to your Caribbean and Latino nightclubs. Brixton has it all and is a very, very exciting place to live and to be, especially on the weekends. If you are looking for some green spaces just to get out, to breathe in some fresh air, to take the dog for a walk or go for your morning run, then you have Rush Common and you have Milkwood Community Park. In terms of the shopping vibe in Brixton, well, you have your typical stores like your Marks and Spencers, but if you're looking for a true, authentic, Brixton shopping experience and you have to visit the Brixton market. Now this market is frequented by locals, especially on weekends. You can find everything from super fresh meat, and I mean like super fresh, <laughs> to amazing vintage clothing and sales like you cannot believe. So if you're looking for that true authentic Brixton shopping experience, then visit the market. Um, and this is definitely something that the locals do on a weekly basis because of the amazing things that you can find. Transport in Brixton is amazing. You have the Brixton tube station, which is just four stops away from Victoria Station, which is basically the hub of transport in London. So you couldn't get any better than that. And there are also plenty of bus routes. So you're never gonna get stuck. You can always get anywhere and everywhere, pretty much at any time. Number three, Wandsworth. Now, Wandsworth is a very residential area. It's London's biggest inner borough, and it's based on the south bank of the River Thames. Wandsworth is known for its open and green spaces. That is why so many people from South Africa and Australia and New Zealand tend to move there. That's where the Southern Hemisphere tends to reside. Um, in terms of green spaces, you have Clapham Common, you have Battersea Park, you have Wandsworth Common, um, and there's so many other fantastic parks that you can frequent if you are a local in the area. Another wonderful thing about living in Wandsworth is you are right on the Thames. So the Thames River path follows along from Wandsworth through to Battersea to Putney and even on to Richmond. So if you are a very outdoorsy person, you love to cycle, run, take the dog for a walk, just be out and about, then living in Wandsworth is the perfect place for you. Wandsworth is home to a lot of young professionals and people that are wanting to start a family. That's because you have a lot of this indoor-outdoor lifestyle, Places are super affordable and you're close to a lot of transport links so you can get in and out of the city as you please. There are also some incredible schools within Wandsworth so if you are thinking of starting a family or perhaps already have one then Wandsworth is definitely a suburb that you want to check out. There is a huge variety of properties in Wandsworth so you have some semi-detached homes with beautiful outdoor areas and private parking bays to your one bed new build apartment style flats. Um, there is literally something for everyone and like I mentioned before, Wandsworth is pretty affordable and is a great place to live in terms of lifestyle and accessibility. So although certain areas of Wandsworth are quite affordable, you also have your other areas which are slightly more expensive. Just a little fun fact, Wandsworth is also home to Gordon Ramsay and some other hotshot celebrities. So. If you're living in the area, maybe you'll see Gordon Ramsay strolling down the high street going to get his morning coffee. Wandsworth has some amazing cafes, brunch and dinner spots, cocktail bars, but what I really love is that it's pretty much dog friendly wherever you go. So if you're living in Wandsworth and you have a little furry friend, then don't worry because they can pretty much go with you wherever you go. Number four, Peckham. Peckham is known for being a creative, quirky area. So you really don't have to wander too far to find beautiful archways and fantastic architecture and old breweries and bakeries and art galleries. There's pretty much everything in the Peckham area. Peckham has some of the most amazing rooftop bars that showcase views of the entire city. It's also known for its delicious street food, its crazy art, its eclectic music, and its ambiance in general. Although Peckham is known for its street food style, there's also some amazing fine dining places to visit as well. So there is a mix for absolutely everyone living in the area. Peckham also has some wonderful green spaces. So you have the Peckham Rye Park and Common, which is a great place to relax and just enjoy the outdoors on the weekend. And then you also have the Victorian Park, which is a great park for outdoor exercising, dog walking, relaxing. They also have an outdoor gym. So if you're not an indoor kind of person and would rather exercise outdoors, then the gym in Victorian Park is the place to go. If you're looking for an awesome night out or perhaps you're in the 
you to shop or maybe even just have a leisurely bottomless brunch on the weekend, then the Peckham High Street and Rye Lane are the places that you want to be. The streets are lined with food and market stalls and beautiful art murals and colourful buildings and musicians singing on the side. It's a really vibey place to spend the weekends. In terms of transport, there is no underground station in Peckham, but you do have the overground. So you have Peckham Rye and you have Queen's Road Peckham. These stations have direct links to Canada Water where you can hop on the Jubilee Line and get into central London very quickly. If you're in the mood for shopping, then Rye Lane is where you want to be. The street is filled with old bookstores and vintage clothing shops and outdoor markets as well as healthy eating outlets and delicatessens and cute cafes and then of course you also have your chain stores such as your Morrisons, your Lidl and your Asda. Number five Wimbledon. Famous for the annual tennis tournament, Wimbledon is a beautiful area and is one of the nicest places to live in South London. Wimbledon is situated in the London borough of Merton and is comprised of Wimbledon, Wimbledon Village, South Wimbledon and Wimbledon Chase. You can literally find every kind of accommodation in Wimbledon. So South Wimbledon is known for having estates, tower blocks and maisonettes, whereas the village is home to some incredible mansions and penthouses. Houses. Property prices in Wimbledon vary, so Wimbledon Village is home to some celebrities, millionaires and people who can afford that sort of lifestyle. Whereas South Wimbledon and Central Wimbledon are a lot more affordable with some flats and house shares. Wimbledon is known for its outdoorsy lifestyle, its open roads and big green spaces. And because of this, it has attracted many people from the Southern Hemisphere Yes, I'm talking about plenty of South Africans. So it is indeed one of the first places that we looked when deciding to move to London. Uh, it's also filled with a lot of Australians and Kiwis as well, because we like that open outdoor green living environment. The social scene in Wimbledon is absolutely fantastic. So you've got some really great little cafes, some awesome breakfast spots and brunch and dinner spots. However, if you're looking for a heavy nightlife club scene well then i wouldn't suggest going to wimbledon wimbledon is a little more relaxed a little more tame um, but has some fantastic pubs and bars as well wimbledon also has some amazing green spaces but two that spring to mind is wimbledon common and wimbledon park both of which have water sports opportunities for cycling and picnics and dog walking and just really having a lovely day out especially in summer on the weekends wimbledon has the center called shopping center which is home to all your basic necessities. So from boots to m and to Costa Coffee, you can find everything at the Centre Court Shopping Centre. And so you don't have to hop on a bus or a train to head anywhere else because everything is within range. Wimbledon also has some great transport links. So you have the Wimbledon Rail Station, which gets you into Clapham Junction and Waterloo within 10 minutes. And then you have Wimbledon Station, which is home to the District Line, getting you into central London. However, the District Line does get very packed in peak times, which can often be a little bit of a disadvantage. However, there are some fantastic bus routes as well. So those are our top five places to live in South London. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and have learned something new about each place. What I really love is that each place is so unique and has a completely different spin. So it all really depends on what sort of lifestyle you are wanting. <laughs> if you are looking for new properties, then don't forget to go on the Move Bubble app. There's some wonderful video walkthroughs and there's plenty of renting information as well. That's it from me. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.